What's happening, webheads? Happy new comic book day. Mike Spider Slayer. Running some errands like usual on new comic book day. But let me tell you, it's been one hell of a morning. Had trouble getting gas. Like, do you ever have trouble getting gas? Like, the pumps don't quite work right. They go super slow. I had to go to another gas station. The card came up to climb, but it works inside the freaking gas station. So, I was almost late taking my daughter to school. My God, such a frustrating morning. So, now I got to go to the grocery store, pick up some chicken for dinner tonight. And then I'm going to head to the shop. Let's hope this day turns around. And hopefully, you find everything you're looking for at the comic book shop today. Welcome to Spider Slayers Comic Book Hall fans. This is episode 627, the video series where each and every week I share with you when I pick up that Comic Central, which is my local comic shop located in the city of Sanford. So if you're ever in the central Florida area, stop by, tell Mike Spider Slayer sent you. Guys, they are absolutely awesome today, and uh, I'll tell you a little bit of a story. My morning didn't get really any better. I went to Publix, and like they didn't have any freaking chicken. So it was like they had one package, and so I was stuck with just getting one package of chicken. And so I went home, I regrouped, I went to the store, and I can tell you, the guys at the shop made me feel better because of a particular book that they made me look at early because they, they looked at a book and they had to check it out, and I sh I'll share it with you. All right, here we go. Mysterious Black Bag. It was not a, like, super hefty week. Um, but I did get some variants, you know, of course, like always. Uh, not as many as I could have. I'm trying to scale back on the variants. I'm trying really hard to keep to that New Year's resolution, unless it's Spider-Man books. But here's here's your stack here. It's a freaking mess. Let's see what we got, okay? So, first things first, let's go through, like, the little promotional stuff. IDW, 25 years. Uh, this made it into the bag as well. So I guess this is comics that are getting ready to come out. So yeah, so now they have like a little previews guide. Then we have Magma Comics Preview. So we have that, I guess, you know, has comics that are actually coming out for them as well. So yeah, there's that. So that's pretty gruesome also. And then we have the uh, DC Connect, another preview book. So there's a lot of preview books so if you're at your shop this week, make sure you pick them up so you know what's coming out soon, right? So we got that. And then we have Marvel. <laughs> we got the Blood Hunt Preview, uh, issue two. And then on the back, we got the uh, the picture of Wolverine and Deadpool World War III there. Uh, look at that. There's that inside. So yeah, so this is going to have everything that has like Blood Hunt attached to it. Don't know if you guys are into all that, but yeah, this is a hefty previews book. And then we got comic shop news. I haven't seen something like this in a long time. So I guess this is giving you everything that has to do with comic shop stuff. So yeah, there's that. All right. And then let's get into one major back issue uh, that I picked up this week. And uh, I do not have this issue in my collection. So this is actually brand new for me. This is the Amazing Spider-Man issue 203. This is a new stand edition, and this is the third appearance of Dazzler. Not the first, not the second, but at least it's the third, and it's in an Amazing Spider-Man book. This is, like I said, a new stand edition, and this book is a pretty high grade. You know, if, I, if I'm looking at it, I would say it's probably in like the eight range. So I, I like this book. This, that's cool, man. I saw that there. I'm like, all right, I'm picking that bad boy up. All right. Then let's get this one out of the way because this is the, you know, magazine that I got this week. And this is The Savage Sword of Conan. Uh, this is issue one. Not a huge fan of Conan. Uh, but again, it's a new number one. I can try to, you know, talk about it on Worthy Ones tomorrow. Oh, shit. It's like black and white. Like, look at that. Holy cow. This is wild. Is this going back to the way the old magazines used to look? That's insane right there, man. Not bad. I'll check it out, read it. Hopefully I'll get through it in time for Worthy Ones. There's not a lot of new number ones that I picked up this week. So I'll have to, again, include some other new books. All right, so here we go. The Amazing Spider-Man. This is issue 44. This is it, guys. The conclusion to the gang war. Um, it hasn't really accomplished all that much in my eyes. 
it started off very strong with the first strike issue and from there on out it, it just it didn't pan out the way I wanted you you would think that something like a gang war would be absolutely awesome and it's just not when, when did spider boy enter the picture too right uh yeah I don't know we'll see how the whole thing ends and then where does spider-man go from here right okay and then next we have um marvel superhero secret wars this is issue two um again i'm collecting the whole thing in a facsimile form in the foil form as well and then also in the originals i'm only missing issue one so here's the interior art it's made just like how you we remember so i'm excited to have this as well uh, in the collection okay and then we're gonna go to more marvel and we're going to go to issue one of spider punk uh this one's written by cody ziggler i got the kari andrews um, variant cover here this is arms race and I think this is the only cover that I got for this I could have went crazy on this I just didn't here's the interior artwork here we're gonna see what the story has to offer you know I wasn't a huge fan of the last one so we'll see okay and then we wind up getting another facsimile book this is uncanny x-men issue 268 this is a classic, man. I have multiple copies of this. I love this cover. And again, it's just cool to have some of these classic books in your collection, even if you already have them. And this is a perfect reader's copy, so you don't want to touch your valuable, you know, old school copies. But look at that great, you know, I think Jim Lee did the interior art in this comic. It, it looks so good. It, I really, man, I, this just brings back days, man. This brings back days, right? God damn, I wish X-Men was that good again. So we got that one. All right, then we got, let's see what else. Everything's mixed up, so I apologize for that. So and then we have the Resurrection of Magneto, Fall of the House of X, issue two. So this is done by Al Ewing, and the first book was like way out there. And that's what you can expect them from Al Ewing, right? Um, but I'm sticking with it. I'm going to see how, you know, Magneto gets resurrected. Here's the opening page here. That looks pretty gnarly right there, right? Uh, and they're like in the ocean and there's Namor and stuff. The artwork is superb in this book. You can't deny that at all. So we'll see where it goes from here, man. So, yep, resurrection of Magneto. All right. Let's see. Then we got the Punisher. We have issue four. Pretty cool cover as you get to see this character with a puzzle piece missing. Uh, the last issue wasn't great. He dealt with like this fear character, which was like a scarecrow ripoff. So hopefully the story gets a little bit better on track here. I like the first couple of issues, but hopefully again, this book doesn't go south. Interior artwork is great though, but I need, what's his name? Joe Garrison to, uh, to you know, be his own person a little bit more, I guess, right? All right, so with that being said, guys, let's go to the Webhead Shoutouts. Our first shout of the day goes to Lewis, who went to an event sponsored by his local comic shop and picked up quite a few books. You can see some cool Scotty Youngs and nice Spider-Man books there. Congratulations, Lewis, on picking those books up. And then we have Anthony here who said, best mail call I've had in a long time. This is one of those times where I'm grateful that my memory is trash because this was a nice surprise. He's got some cool books there. He's got a Spider Boy. Looks like he's got another amazing Spider-Man in the lower right. But that cool one is that Deadpool book where it's a 9.9 .9 signature series book. Congratulations, Anthony. Nice score for sure. And then we have Steven here who said, So I found out today that Daniel Warren Johnson used uh, used to shop at my local comic shop I go to. So he'll stop by there periodically and sign some of the books and put them back in the stacks. And he found them and he got them for cover price. Look at those remarks on there with Ultimus Prime. Oh my God, that is a total score right there. Congratulations, Steven. And if you guys want to get shouted out on future comic book hauls, 
Just head on over to Facebook, search for the group called Comic Book Corner 2.0, Webheads Unite, and once you answer the questions, and you guys have to answer the questions and follow the rules of the group, you guys, I will give you access to this awesome community that I have created where everyone discusses the stories, what they picked up for the week, their CGC halls, unfortunate break-ins on local comic shops, which is very unfortunate. Great questions to the community. Guys, this place is awesome. You're going to want to join it. It's absolutely for free. And as always, guys, like I said, you never know when you could get shouted out on future comic book day halls. Continuing on with Marvel, it's like a heavy Marvel week. I got What If Venom. Uh, obviously got this homage cover. I don't have this amazing Spider-Man issue. I am going to try eventually get one, but uh, when it comes to this What If Venom, it's really good. I love the colors. It really pops here. And I guess this is about Jennifer Walters becoming Venom. So that seems like an interesting story. Here's the artwork. Looks very dark, right? But I'm excited for this book, man. Looks good. So we'll see what this one has to offer. And then I got this variant cover, obviously paying homage to that very first issue of uh, Sensational She-Hulk. And this one goes, okay, now this is your last chance. If you don't buy our book this time, we're going to come to your house and rip up all your venom. So, and he has, and she has a, an amazing Spider-Man issue 300 in her hand. So that's pretty sweet right there. All right, then we have one of the best, best X books going. We have The Invincible Iron Man. This is issue 15 as it continues the story with Tony Stark teaming up with the mutants, his relationship with Emma Frost. This one's going to be hopefully about Rhodey, uh, maybe getting released from jail. Uh, here's the interior artwork here. This book is good, man. I just, I really love this book. And I love the relationship that has developed between Tony and Emma. I wish they would stay together. Maybe they will. Maybe they're not. We'll see. Then we have Miles Morales, Spider-Man. This is issue 17. Great looking variant cover here with Miles getting his ass kicked by Rabble. I think that's awesome. The gang war is over now, so we can sit here and focus on the book a little bit more. Here's the interior artwork. It's always in your face. Lots of action. Lots of stuff going on. I want to see, like, where's Miles going to go from here, right? And now he's with Ms. Marvel also. So, yeah, man, looking forward to this. Great art, like I said. Wow, good stuff. Okay. Then we have Carnage. This is issue four. We're finally going to get some action here with Flash Thompson and a Venom uh, going to do battle against Carnage. Well, at least we think so. Let me see. There's a lot of talking, a lot of talk. There we go. There's some fighting right there. And uh, I like the art there. I like the crazy um, facial expression with Cletus Cassidy, his insane look. Here's some more artwork in there. So yeah, hopefully this book picks up. It's been a little slow, right? All right. I think this is a big Marvel book this week, guys. This is the Avengers Twilight. This is book three. Uh, there's definitely something that's going to go on in this comic from what I heard. So I'm not going to show you too much. Here's the interior artwork. This is written by Chip Sardarsky. Um, and there's another page there. And that's about all I'll show you. I think this is a pretty important book this week, like I said. All right. So let's go to what made me laugh at the comic shop this week. Okay. So it was my guys. They know I read Savage Dragon. I'm literally the only guy that reads Savage Dragon. And I always have this story, right? Uh, whenever this story comes out, I always tell them like how raunchy this book is. And one of the guys at the comic shop didn't work at the shop for a while, but now he's back. And I can tell you, as soon as he's come back and he looks at the book, it's more raunchier than ever. It's just this weird coincidence, right? And when you read this book this week, it is horrible. I mean, it is, it's one page where it's absolutely disgusting. And then there's something that happens in this comic book where they take advantage of Steamboat Willie, right? But they call him Mickey Mouse, which I think is really wild. I'm going to show you the page. Don't read it because it's not appropriate. I just got to find it. And there he is. He makes his appearance there. And what he says to Malcolm Dragon and to his wife is 
hysterical. You would never think this would come out of freaking Mickey Mouse's mouth, but it is insane. Oh my God, you guys, insane. But this book just gets so raunchy, just, oh my God, it's ridiculous. And uh, and they read it because I, they know I'm the only one and I don't care. And then they're like, Mike, you gotta read it. So we were reading it together at the shop. It was absolutely hilarious, man. But I don't know, this book, it surprises you. It doesn't come out all that often, but my gosh, I can't believe they threw Mickey Mouse in that book, technically Steamboat Willie, and the things that he says is not Disney appropriate. But again, let's just say that. All right, next we have Duke. This is issue three. Uh, great cover here with the Baroness and Duke. Is she going to team up with um, Duke in here? I don't know, but it looks like we're getting a little bit of an origin story. Great artwork right there. So excited for this comic book. There's some more art in there. Also, uh, looks like they're still in the jail cell. And I think we only got one more issue of this because I think it's four issues. So great stuff here by Joshua Williamson. Then we have Jeff Lemire's Phantom Road. This is issue nine. Uh, just, just a way out there book, man. These two, this trucker and this girl, have come across this artifact. It's now hatched. And it's some, like, baby, and they're stashing it at some, like, cheap motel, like, Motel 6 or something like that. And they don't know what to do with it at this point. So this book, it's just weird. It's just out there. And the the sad thing is, is as much as I like it, it's such a freaking quick read. And you're like, man, that's it? So I don't know what's going to happen in this one. All right. Then I wound up getting another printing of Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees. It, it, what is this? Is this the second print? The third print? Like, I don't even know at this point. Um, let me see. Third printing. So, third printing of this book. If you've never read it before, this is your time. Go to the shop. Pick it up. I am guaranteeing you, you will love this book. Especially if you love, like, like I don't know. I, it's, I should say if you like serial killing, but if you love, like, that type of storytelling right about this this character that you know goes to another town and has this thing about murdering somebody and then covering it up and not being caught like th this is a cool story it's so good it's so freaking good so yeah there's that all right next we have comic tom's crash down issue two really loved issue one sci-fi horror book about people trying to find a new earth for civilization to continue on and something like very bad happened in the last issue here's the interior artwork for this one and i was very intrigued after that first issue so we're going to see how it continues how these people survive on this new earth and uh and then where does it go from there right so really cool all right now we got only two dc books that's sad we have green arrow this is issue nine awesome story it looks like we're gonna get ollie teaming up with uh amanda waller here i guess he's gonna he's gonna try to find red arrow uh he's joined up with the bad guys as well obviously this is going to connect to the main event of what's going to happen in the near future when it comes to dc uh that's pretty cool as he's skydiving and uh yeah looking forward to this man such a great book and then i got a book that came out what was it last week uh, it was the acetate cover of Sinister Sons. So when you open it up, it looks like that. So yeah, you got that and that. So yeah, uh, I saw this. I'm like, what the heck is this? And they're like, it was the acetate cover. I'm like, oh, okay. I didn't even know I put that on my FOC. And then I got three more books here. So I wound up getting Duke issue three, the uh, variant here, the one in 25, it was 20 bucks. It's such an awesome cover, man. I love the Baroness. So cool. Reminds you of the old school toys, but with that great action pose, right? Awesome stuff. So I got that one. And then I got the Secret Wars issue two foil, which I told you guys I'm collecting those as well. And then I wound up getting this one too. So the Uncanny X-Men 268 foil. So, and I got that. And there you have it. There is the haul for the week. Listen. The morning started off really shitty and it ended up on a really high note. I had some great laughs with the guys at the comic shop reading that Savage Dragon issue with freaking Steamboat Willie. All blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this haul. If you love the content, you guys know what you got to do, right? 
And uh, I'll leave you more content right here. This is my top 10 most anticipated comics for next week. And as always, guys, remember, support the local comic shops. Keep buying, keep collecting, but always remember, read your comics. And guys, enjoy your new comic book day. Take care. See you soon. Bye.